Hello, people. Listen, I'm going to talk to you about this lawsuit going on by Janelle Grant. People are under the assumption that this thing's going to be dropped, that they're going to pay Janelle Grant off, and uh, everything's going to go away. Uh, and I hear lawyers on here actually saying that, uh, professional lawyers on here. But they're missing a lot here. And I'm going to tell you this much. I know things going on here because I can't say certain things going on because I can get in trouble. Um, and that's just with me. But I can tell you one thing. The feds are involved in this. And the feds aren't involved in this uh, be, for, for no reason. The feds are involved because they want to bring down Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon beat them in 1993. And the feds don't forget when someone beats them. Vince McMahon is associated with Donald Trump. They're going after Donald Trump, too. So they're not going to lay off Vince McMahon. And see, people say Vince McMahon is very vulnerable to be taken down. And the main reason why is because his family cannot stand him. They're not going to protect him. He was having he was running around with this Janelle Grant girl. And whatever happens there, well, we'll explain that in a minute. And he was cheating on his wife. He forced his daughter. Okay, let's see. He forced Stephanie McMahon out of the company when he came back. She didn't want him in the company. And he came back and she left because there was a lot of bitterness here because they always knew about all this sexual stuff going on. The family did. Shane, Shane, Shane McMahon's not going to back him up because Shane McMahon uh, got thrown out of the company when Stephanie took it over. So the children here, there's a big power uh, a vacuum here. And they're going to just... They're going to see who's going to take this company over. And, and now that they're with Endeavor, it could be somebody from Endeavor. They might decide to bring somebody else in here to run this company. But there's something very strange going on here. And let me tell you why something strange is going on here. John Laurinaitis, and I'm hoping I'm saying his name right, but John Laurinaitis is the key to this whole thing. And let me tell you why I think he's the key to this whole thing. This, okay, John Laurinaitis, this is him right here. Him and Vince McMahon have been fast buds for the last uh, couple of years, and now he's claiming that Vince McMahon made him have sex with Janelle Grant. Do you know how big this guy Laurinaitis is? He's a big man, 6'4". He's a big, big man. I, I doubt anybody's going to make, make him do anything. As people know that he is uh, the step... Well, he's married to... Uh, the Bree, the Bree sisters, uh, well, Bell, the Bella twins, that's who they used to run uh, wrestle under. He's married to their mother. I mean, he comes from a family of wrestlers. And, but the strangest thing is, and I'm going to bring this up, and this is what's really strange. Now, this guy, he was already in the company, uh, Lori Natus was already in the company. And he basically got forced out of the company because he sucked at his job. He was not good at his job. But let's read this. Okay. And um, the WWE recently, and this is uh, 19, uh, this is May 2021, recently hired jo uh, John Laurinaitis to be the, the, uh, their new head of talent relationships. Uh, relations, I'm sorry. Laurinaitis uh, hiring reportedly was part of a recent shakeup in the company's talent relations department, which is being split into two uh, new talent uh, related departments. Why would you bring someone back to do that job that was a failure at it in the first place? That's like a head coach losing 20 games uh, in two years in the NFL and coming back and becoming the coach of that same team two years later. Definitely doesn't make sense there, but I'll tell you what I think is going on. Fightful Select reported that the reaction with the company over Laurinaitis hiring was one of general concern. It was reported that many backstage were concerned over him returning to his old role in the company. Laurinaitis reportedly was a key supporter of the uh, diva-style performance for WWE's women division during his prior time in charge of talent. This included him playing a major role in the company's hiring practices and poor treatments toward the female talent over the years. So this guy wanted all this female talent. And then there was reports about him harassing these women. 
and there's no doubt that he did it. <laughs> I mean, uh, you can say what you want, but here's a man that wanted the divas around because he wanted a bunch of beautiful women around him, and he had the power over these women. Okay. Lorenatus uh, uh, reportedly was a key supporter of diva-style performers for the WWE's women's division uh, during his prior time, time in charge of talent. This included him playing a major role in the company's hiring practice, poor treatment towards the female talent over the years. It was reported that in general feeling is uh, the company might resume their old hiring practices for female talent under his leadership. So basically, they're thinking that this guy, they're going to go back to hiring women the way he used to. They have to go through him again. And with this whole thing of him being uh, a tag team and Janelle Grant with, uh, uh, with Vince McMahon, and we'll get into that in a minute. Okay. It is also reported that many who worked in the company over the years spoke negatively against Laurinaitis during his prior time in charge of talent relations. With the WWE, it's always about sex. It was the same thing with the Ring Boys. Mel Phillips is fired in 1987, released from the company because he had issues with the boys, and they brought him back. Once again, they bring this guy back. Why do you think they brought him back? Because he has stuff on the company. He has lots of stuff on Vince McMahon. But now, being that Vince McMahon stepped down, Laurinaitis has said that he was a victim of this abuse, too. He's pretty much saying that Vince McMahon forced him to do everything. He forced him to go with Janelle Grant. He didn't want to do it. And Vince used his power toward him. Anybody that believes that is an idiot. Really? If this guy's having all this issue hiring these women, uh, complaints, uh, sexual complaints, uh, harassment and stuff in this company... Isn't it amazing how the WWE is full of sexual harassment, whether it's uh, boys, men, or women, and they bend their whole entire, the whole entire uh, culture has been that way since the early 80s, probably before that. The fabulous Mula worked for them and uh, used to pimp her girls out. This company has always been full of perversion, but here's why it's going to be different this time. As you people know, I am from the mob community. That's And I have a pretty successful mafia channel. I deal with rats. Uh, basically, that's what I do. I, I call them out because they're rats. But see, the feds will let people out with three murders just to get the head guy. They're going to forget. This is my prediction what's going to happen here. This Laurinaitis is going to become a federal witness. Because the feds are in this and the feds need witnesses. They're calling women in now. All they need to do is get a couple women and that will say that he, they, that Vince McMahon sexually abused them and Laurinaitis. So they're going to bring Laurinaitis in and they're going to say, look, we want Vince McMahon. We're willing to, to forgive you for what you've done. Your hiring practice, your, your allegations of sexual harassment, those things don't go away over time. You know, this stuff with Vince is very fresh. This stuff with Janelle Grant. Uh, so there's no statutes of limitation the feds have to worry about there. But you got to remember, Harvey Weinstein, on allegations that were older, went to prison for life, for the rest of his life. Danny Masterson, same thing. He went to prison for the rest of his life on issues that were brought up 20, 30 years ago. Now, they got all this fresh stuff on Vince McMahon, and now they're going back in time. But this this is different then. Uh, see, Weinstein was feuding with his brother. So they wanted, Weinstein's brother wanted him out of the way. And Weinstein gave his brother the perfect opportunity to get rid of him. And it worked. And so now you have Vince McMahon in the same position. His family don't want him around. Linda McMahon owns a lot of that company. She helped Vince McMahon over the years cover up a lot of stuff. And I know this because I've dealt with Linda McMahon. So she's helped him. Uh, she has tons of stuff on him. The feds might go to her. And people say, oh, the wives can't testify. That doesn't mean that she's not going to give information up to her lawyer or somebody. 
It doesn't mean anything. The feds will get information any way they can. And if they want somebody, the only thing that I think that could save Vince McMahon right now is his health being bad if it gets worse. If his health does not get worse and he's able to uh, go through this, and here's the thing people are saying about Janelle Grant, and this is what they don't understand. They're saying Janelle Grant might settle. Vince might go to her and say, okay, let's settle now. But the only way she's going to settle with Vince is she gets like $100 million. And she knows that if she, say say, she, say the feds go after Vince and put him in prison. So Janelle Grant at that point can just go and sue the WWE for having this guy, the company in itself, for having this guy at the top abusing people like this. And this guy, uh, this guy right here, John Laurinaitis, uh, he is going to be a huge key in this. You mark my word. Remember this. If there's going to be one person, one witness against him, that's going to be the guy. Because he has so much information on this guy. And he has a lot to hide, too. So Laurinaitis is worried about, first of all, his marriage I can only I can't even picture his wife wanting to be with him, being that he was doing that with all these women, with his hiring practices and stuff. But you have to ask yourself, why did they bring him back? Why is he there? What's the reason? And now he's claiming he was a victim. So he's sitting he's sitting down with people in Titan Towers and he and they're trying to figure out what is going to be the best way to protect this guy. But what is he going to do when the feds get him and, and, and sit him down and question him? And then you have Jerry McDivitt, who was Vince's lawyer for years. And he knows everything about Vince. So when the feds sit him down, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? He's a lawyer. He gonna, he, you think he wants to lose his career over uh, Vince McMahon at this point? Well, he's an old man, too. He's just like Vince. He's an old man. But all these cover-ups are coming back to haunt these people now. And everything is rolling really, really fast. And it's not going to be what people think. That the people are right now, and I hear these lawyers on here saying, this is going to be settled. He's going to pay her off, and this is going to go away. I will bet my bottom dollar that's not going to happen. Because Janelle Grant right now is in a very good position. She does not need Vince to get money. She needs the WWE to get money. And the WWE, the WWE would gladly pay her extra money if it means that Vince is out of the way. As long as Vince is alive and is capable of uh, thinking... He's a danger to that company. He's a danger of walking through that door. And they know this. They now, now Endeavor loves Triple H. They want Triple H to run everything. So, you know, for some reason, they're attached to Triple H. So Triple H ain't going to give up nothing. And his wife, you and, and his wife is Stephanie McMahon. They want this company. They want it. They want to reap all the rewards they just signed for, for, for Netflix. You got big money sitting on the table here. It's going to be based on Vince McMahon's health. But people, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But you remember, I want you to remember what I said. Lorenius will be the one that will become the federal witness. Uh, what we call that in the mob genre, he will become a rat because it's going to be to save his behind. Because no one's going to believe that Vince used his power to make him have sex with all these women. This is a grown ass big man, a successful man. He had money his, and he has a brother in the NFL. He has uh, uh, he has um, uh, relatives that, that he's related to. Um, um, I think a uh, hawk or something, or the animal, one of those two. One of them is dead, but he was related to one of them. And uh, 
He's around a lot of people. But now you got the Bree twins. What's going on there? Because when the Bree twins came into, they really, they were the stars of that whole thing with the, with the uh, Divas. And I'm sure that he helped them become the stars. Because they sure the hell can't wrestle. And they were like two uh, uh, two bricks in the uh, uh, in the ring. But they shook the butt, the butt uh, wiggled their chest and sh uh, shook their ass. They looked great, but they sure it was sure wasn't about wrestling that they were in there. No, a lot of these women, a lot of these women are brilliant wrestlers, and then you have some that are there suspect. Why did the Bree, the Bree twins get the push? The Bella twins, why did they get the push? It wasn't because they were talented in the ring. And everybody knows that. You'll hear that from any wrestling people. All wrestling people say the same thing. So I want you guys to tell me under here, what do you think? Will John Laurinaitis become a federal witness and testify against Vince McMahon? I say yes. Maybe if, like, We'll see if I'm right or wrong. That's my prediction. The feds are involved in this very heavily. They're questioning a lot of people right now. They're not going anywhere. They want to bring a case down on this man because there's so many other areas that Vince McMahon's going to have issues with. And some of the people around him that worked in that Titan Towers with him. Those people have issues too. But you're going to, you're going to see tax issues, all sorts of stuff. Money issues, money laundering, using money to uh, pay for, uh, uh, to buy his mistress, like cars and stuff. He bought Janelle Grant a uh, $60,000 car. Where did that come out of? Did that come out of corporate money? If he did that, he's robbing from the, the, from the stockholders. So that's theft. So this thing is so serious. It's flying right now. Don't be surprised that within the next month or two, you hear about a federal indictment coming down because I feel that right now uh, a grand jury is going to be convened anytime. I know things along that area that I can't talk about, uh, but that stuff's going to start convening uh, anytime now. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here, but this ain't going to be one of those ones where he walks away. No way. And with that, people, I like to say, please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. I'm going to have a former ring boy on. Uh, well, we're editing the video right now. And when we put that up, you're going to find more fascinating stuff about what it was like to really work with Mel Phillips and Terry Garvin <coughs> and Pat Patterson and how these boys uh what they were expected to do as ring boys, the work they were expected to do, and if any other nefarious things that had happened. With that, people, you take care. Everybody have a nice one. I hope you enjoyed the video.